Hello dears, right now our topic is pair of straight lines and in that particular topic we are discussing a particular process of homogenization okay in which condition it is going to be used I am just telling you okay you just see that one curve is given fx and its equation is ax square plus 2hxy plus by square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c is equals to 0 got this and a straight line lx plus my plus n equals to 0 is cutting this curve at two different points these points are a and b which are shown over there okay now these two points are joined to the origin so we have to find out the combined equation of these two lines that is oa and ob this oa and ob we have to find out the combined equation of these two now what is the normal process to find out the equation we have to find out the point of intersection so we have to first find out the point of intersection of the line with the equation and then we have to find the equation OA then equation of OB and the multiplication which will be a very very lengthier process now what is the another process to find out the combined equation of these two lines that is called as process of homogenization as we know that the pair of straight lines passing through origin always be an homogeneous equation in x and y it means homogeneous equation means each and every term in the equation is either of x square or y square or x y there is no linear term there is no constant term so in this process we will homogenize the equation of curve by the equation of line okay now see the equation of line equation of line is lx plus my plus n equals 0 we can write like this lx plus my is equals to minus n or we can say lx plus my upon minus n will be equals to 1 this is the linear term which will be used to homogenize which will be used to homogenize the equations how you just see that okay this can be obtained by the equation of line but equation of curve is equation of curve is a x square it is only it is already a uh, second degree equation plus it is b y square plus 2 h x y plus 2 g x now first three terms are already second degree equations but the fourth term is 2gx that is a linear term so we have to multiply this with 1 next term is 2fy again we have to multiply this with 1 because it is a linear term and linear term is multiplied with 1 will again become a second degree equation last term is c but c is a constant term so to make it a second degree equation we have to multiply this with 1 square that must be equal to 0 and what is the value of 1 this can be obtained by the equation 1 we have to put the value of 1 in this equation so required equation of pair of straight line pair of straight lines is a x square plus 2 h x y plus b y square plus 2 g x into 1 what is the value of 1 it is l x plus m y whole upon minus n plus 2 f y into again l x plus m y upon minus n plus c into l x plus m y upon minus n whole square equals to 0 now it becomes a homogeneous equation and we can easily find out the combined equation just by solving this nothing else so i think it's a very easier process to find out the pair of straight lines and it seems to be a typical process but when you're applying in the simple equations like circle parabola ellipse or hyperbola, then it will be a very very easy and useful process okay yes